Right with Welling Town manager Danny Wakelin after a, a good 1 1 draw at Glebe at Foxbury Avenue. Um, Dan, I think it's fair to say first 20 minutes they could have been three or four up and we just didn't get out. We were, weren't at the races. What happened early on? We had a game plan. I think we started a tad sloppily down the right hand side. I mean, I don't like digging people that publicly, but if Gary Beckett put his hands up. He's, he's gone a bit casual early doors, ball down his side of the flank. He's weaved around the football, dropped a shoulder, gone to play Jack in. Jack's on the floor, opening, bang. And I think that then set a tone for a little bit of panic throughout the team. I think if he just deals with that ball, gets around the football, sends it back up the pitch, up the hill for the first five minutes of the game, I think we have a different complexion on that first 20 minutes. But that was a sloppy start, and then it just sort of seeped into everybody after that. Um, but I am proud of the way that they saw that out and went one and up. Yeah, because we were deep, we couldn't get out, could we? Every time right. they, they were getting the ball on the halfway line and just pin us, pin us in, mm -hmm. having shots. Fair to say, Jack's made a number of saves today that's kept us in the game in the first half. But then they make a bit of a mistake. We capitalise. Some lovely play in the final third and we're 1-0 up. You must be thinking, well, this is all getting great. Yeah, no. But what I liked about us, though, was the fact that when we went forward, we still looked like we were going to score, though. We went forward with punch and with verb still. But obviously that, that first 90 seconds set a tone, it's difficult when you're playing on such a slope, it's difficult then to do, get out of the mire. Um, we were very deep and we were very much saying to them, the, um, like, just keep coming at us. So they had an extra player in midfield. We recognised that straight away though when we knew we couldn't get back up the hill properly. We put Tajani in there as a pressing 10, had him in a pocket off the left hand side, Elion switching from the left to the right. And we knew that Elion had the pace to get in behind Matt Parsons when he went to overload on the outside. So we knew how to counter it and we slowly clawed our way back in the game. And then from that, as an away team though, you do have to say there's different ways of looking at a game of football, but as an away team, we deserve to go one and up. For, for dealing with that 15, 20 minute period, then readjusting and then finding a route to go. And then to be fair, we worked on that in training, nice bit of patient play, build up play into the D and to Johnny's finish was something they worked on for about 45 minutes. So it's very nice to see what Metting's putting on the training ground, go onto the pitch, that's a positive and it's good for Johnny and it sort of verified the, the change of putting him central to see that period of play out. Um, and, I, and I actually felt we finished the, the half the stronger side as an away team, deserves to go in at 1-0 up. As a, a neutral, we'd probably expect you to be a couple of goals down. But as an away team, you've clung onto the ropes and dug in and sort of gone in as a away team. You've got a dirty 1-0 win, 1-0 uh, lead away from home, which you have to do in these leagues. I think fair to say, after that half an hour, it was a much more even game with yep. us creating plenty of chances. We pressed them higher up the pitch. Yep. We got ourselves up the pitch. We kept the ball better. And yep. we, we give them things to think about. I mean, they couldn't push forward. They had to hold back and because we were going to hit them. Um, did you think after that 20 minutes, half hour in the first half that, you know, you fancied to, to kick on and get a second one? I mean, we did have a great chance to go 2-0 up, didn't we? In the second yeah, half. I did. And I, I never doubt that we would score a goal anyway. We, did, we don't fail to score. And we have, up until today, we had the second best defensive record in the league as well. So, you know, we, we, we are a good side. We have got good players. And every team has spells where they're not quite switched on. But we didn't go a goal down, which is nice. So they've ridden out a storm. And on the break, we did look smart going up the hill as well. Like, so we switched Elliot onto the right-hand side to get in behind Matt Parsons. We were trying to create an overload down the left. So our first thought should have been more often. We won it in the middle of the park. Just turn it back up the hill in that, into that channel sometimes. Uh, I think we're guilty sometimes of... I hate the term overplaying, but I think we're guilty of tapping the ball off and letting someone else make a decision with it. Sometimes, I think sometimes, put your side foot through it, send it around the, send it around the corner, and then the cavalry can get up the pitch. Especially when you play it uphill, there's certain ways of playing the game. And when you play it uphill, you have to play those percentages. Um, but we did creep into the game, and I did feel that we finished the, the, the half, the stronger side, and as an away team, deserve something to have to go into the second half. Um, we're into the second half, um, and... We were through one on one with a goalkeeper. Go 2 0 up there, and it's going to be hard to come back from. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking when we. Um, was there anything that we could have done better? Yeah, I, possibly. Early on, seeing the, 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 the lights, and uh, you know, he, he coaches here and he's played here a couple of times. He probably that flashed between his eyes a little bit. Normally, he's devastating. He'll, he'll, he'll do that bit of trickery and either find the bottom corner or lift his head and roll it across goal for a tap in. Once the opportunity to score went, he definitely should have opened his body up and put it across the box and 2-0 kicking down the hill away from home, different, uh, you're winning the game. But I was more disappointed with the fact that we didn't take the game plan of the second half, which was go and press high second half down the hill. We won that up, press high. You know, where, where, they, where they were getting their wit from their full-backs this afternoon, it was a case of our front four can just go on their toes. Just don't let them, just don't let them play out. And then our full-backs can step into that vacancy 
done that part. Play long, do they, no, you? they don't exactly. So that that was the plan. So no, right now, first off, it's contained with that hill and whatever else, and then press in the right areas, and then counter or win it, send it back behind the fullbacks to turn around that way. Second half, it was a case of punch them as hard as you can, as often as you can. Don't let them out. And there was the detachment. Joel Thompson, who I thought was our man of the match today, because tactically he did everything he was asked of. You might not necessarily see a, you know, a, a graceful game of football out there, but he, everything he was asked for tactically, he delivered. He absolutely delivered. Uh, normally, it's him that comes off for Cole to go and finish the game, but we needed him out there off the ball today because he was the only one in the front four that was at it for 90 minutes with intelligence and mentality. Uh, we come out second half. We were sitting off their back four, playing out, and they were on the halfway line spraying the ball around and we couldn't get out of our penalty area. So I'm looking at that, and that, that's just a, that's a mentality thing. That's not a bit, that's mentality. And I said to the boys at the end of the game, we feel like they've dropped two points. It's if they had carried out the instructions to the first 15 minutes, do you think it'd give you a better chance to win the game? They've all agreed. So next question is, why don't you do it? I would rather I ask them to do something and it goes absolutely pear-shaped and they can all come in and have me against the wall. I'd rather that. But instead, they haven't applied themselves properly for the second half and they've dropped two points. But... This is a big club at its level, and it's expected to march forward and go on. There's a little old well in town at the Kent County only five minutes ago. That's a great point away from home, so I'll take the positive out today. Um, you brought Carl on. Carl yep. went up top. Joel dropped back behind him with, with Lewis. And, and Carl had a couple of good moments in the game. One shot was very close when he, when he just turned and hit one at the near post. So, um, first time we've really seen that kind of thing where Carl's up top, Joel's behind him on the left, Lewis is behind him on the right. How did you think that went and how did you think we looked? Yeah, it's solid and they had enough height to go back and deal with set players and stuff like that with Joel, leaving Joel on the pitch. Joel's also played a little bit wider. Plus, we know we, we could hit a diag maybe at times, we'd do something a bit different, hit a diag, head it around the corner and Cole is a William runner. Uh, Cole's, Cole's speciality for, for the environment we're in does seem to be coming off the bench and changing games. Now, the, the lad will want to start games of football, of course he will, but it just seems where everything is set, he is just that extra bit of gold to come off the bench and win you a game so we left Joel on because tactically every time one of the front four wasn't quite pressing or was caught out of in transition he was always filling into wider areas off the ball so we looked at him and thought well this, this guy wants to win this guy also wants to make sure we don't concede and he knew what he was doing so we left Joel in that area of the park he has played wider uh, at Corinthian um, in the, what was uh, the Ryman League at the time not as an out and out winger but someone that you can hit a diagonal ball to get it around the corner and chase from there so we went with that and something else for, for Jack Moore to keep aiming balls at sometimes from his hands so like I said I thought Jack was pound for pound our best man today but well, the body wasn't a best standout player in a football pitch but we'll but from what we put in today I think Joel was nothing less than superb with everything that was asked of him and more yeah uh, man of the match we had a, a few chats out there and I think it came down between Jack Ashley and Joel Ashley got it today despite Jack making a number of saves, eight or nine saves. You, you talk about the penalty. Have you seen the video, Dan? Yeah, did you watch it? Yeah. I knew at the time it was off. Yeah, I knew yeah, at the time. It, it basically, you know, he's waiting for a little bit of contact, he's goal side and he's he's dropped. Now, is it a penalty? To the letter of the law, it's probably a penalty, but are you disappointed that such a soft penalty has cost you an extra two points? I'm disappointed that the boys didn't do as they were bloody well told and get down the hill and press their back four into through the, through the sticks. That's what I'm annoyed about. I'm very annoyed about that because if they go and do, don't sit in the dressing room and nod about it, go and can do it. And they didn't do it. And eventually, when you're going to pump balls towards a penalty spot, something's going to happen at some point. So whether it was a soft penalty or not, got to take it in the chin. There was a ball played over the top. Where at one moment, we were pressing high. Jack Moore was caught on his line. And it, if, listen, if we press high, he's got to come outside his box. Johan's got a toe on it, but I think that's a foul problem. And it could also be a red card as well. So swings and roundabouts. Is it a soft penalty? Yes. Could Johan have walked for what he did? Yes. Would that be down to Jack Moore, who a lot of people said were man of the match? Yes, that would have been down to him. Would it also have been down to the fact that we didn't press properly and we slung a ball forward? Yes. So we unpicked ourselves. We did not deliver what was asked of him at half time. That's why we withdrew two of the uh, players in the, in the half spaces behind Joel. That that's why we put Luis in there as more of a bulldog type 10. That's why we kept Joel on in a wider area. And that's why Tajani pretty much played the entire game. Simple as that, really. And if them boys had delivered what they said they was going to do, they get out of here with a good old one little away win. They are disappointing themselves. But on the balance of the game, a draw is probably fair. Yeah, um, we've got a run of away games, Dan, and a lot of American sides that are good sides at this level. Um, today's a benchmark of 
you know, what we can do on the road against a decent team. We've got Oops. nothing to fear, have we? No, 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 no. And so the boys are disappointed there because they haven't taken out the instructions to the letter of the law. And they know if they had, that would have given them a fantastic chance of winning a game of football. And when you consider where their goals come from, Right, Jack's made some saves, but where the goals come from, it's it's a soft penalty, but it's a, an angle ball into no man's land in between our box of four, two centre halves and two holding players. How it's even got in there and it's not been dealt with, I'll never know. But it's the stopping it at source in the first place, being bothered to stop it at source. Get get his head down, make him go back to the goalkeeper, chase it down the hill. You might put the ball in the back of the net. So that's what we're going to go home with and be disappointed with probably. Well, Dan, thanks for talking to us after the game, and we'll see you next week. Looking forward to it already. Cheers.